Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are learning about the test bed. So test bed, how uh, how to create the test bed and all those things we are trying to learn. And also we have learned how to traverse the element component template using the test bed. Also we have seen in the post dot component dot es we have seen about the debug element and also we have seen about this native element. Also we have seen and little bit going further deeper into the test bed we have also seen. if the component is somewhat complex that means it has a dependencies and also it has somewhat uh, what i can say child component so how to test this one and also we have seen how how to resolve the dependencies using the test bed also we have seen so test bed dot create the component and here we have seen these all things now we need to see about the mocking of this child component so we have mocked the service the post service using our traditional mock object jasmine dot create by object and now if you try to see the post dot component dot c html here we have a app iphone post so that means this is a child component which represents this post dot component dot ts file right now here if you try to see the post dot component dot spec yeah dot html so here we are having one child component now we need to check this child component also we need to mock this child component also so we cannot go and inside the we cannot go and test this uh, post component why because we are on the post dot component dot html file so spec file so we cannot uh, we cannot uh, test the post file so we if you want to we want to do the isolated testing right so if you want to test it means you can check it, test it in the post dot component dot spec dot ts file now what will happen so for example if you try to see the output if we try to see the output now if you try to see so here we are able to see that app iphone post is not a known element so what is this reason what is this coming because if you go into the post dot component dot html so now we are we are having a do and everything we are having so what does the angler will do is so if any unknown elements are there okay if any unknown elements are there which cannot be understood by the angler so it will throw an error automatically if you try to see here it is throwing an error automatically so for because of that reason app iphone post it is unable to understand why because so when we have also in the post dot component spec guys yes so we have declared the post component but it doesn't know about this app post that means single post component dot ts file it doesn't have any idea because of that reason it is throwing an error so now what we need to do so in order to make this one work already we have seen something like schema so here we can keep schemas okay so in order to suppress the error no error underscore schema Okay, whatever the uh, things are uh, templates we are getting errors, so it will be suppressed. If we try to see the output right now, we are not getting any error. So is this one is okay? So the but this one is not okay. Why be why because for example, let's assume that we are having a button. Okay, we are having a button. So showing some data. Okay, somebody somebody mistakenly instead of keeping this button, they have given buttons. Okay, so they have given some HTML wrong. Right now we are testing. But this testing document it is not throwing any error, right? But this testing document is not throwing any error. So here we are having a, a invalid element that is buttons. We don't have any component regarding that one, and also HTML element also we don't have anything. But it is not throwing any error. So this is a bad thing to use. Or what I can say, no error underscore cm schema. So now let's remove this one. So if I remove this one, now if we try to see. we will be able to see the both the errors that is nothing but buttons is not a known element and also have post is not not a known element now but for the buttons we can remove this one so we will be able to understand and here i can remove this buttons or otherwise i can keep the button now how can we overcome this app iphone post for this to overcome this app iphone post what we need to do is we need to mock the child component so how we can mock the child component simple so let's create a fake child uh, fake component so something like here what i will try to do at the rate component i am using at the rate component okay at the rate component so what are the things you will have here okay so the things what you will have first one is the selector okay so for this one the selector is nothing but app iphone post and next one is the template instead of having the template url so i will give the template and i will write just simply one div and as this one is a fake component so i will open and close that's it so there is no styles and anything so here what i can do export class sorry 
export class and here I will give fake post component okay single post component I am giving fake post component that's it so this is the fake post component we have created but here you will be able to see some errors let's try to see the output okay we are uh, so if I try to see the output so there is nothing we are getting so now what I can do is so why we are getting this one error let's try to see it so let's try to add this fake post component in the declarations so now if I try to add this one in the declarations let's try to see the output again if I try to show you the output so it need to execute it right okay here we got it an error so now here it is telling that file was processed with these loaders so we need an additional loader to handle the request of these loaders it is saying so at the rate component it is saying some error okay fine so what the problem what it is having having is so here we are using the export we should not use the export that's it so we should use the class instead of using the export we are not exporting we are using this class inside this file only so there is no need to export now if you try to see so i hope this one uh, will get executed yeah it got success now if you try to see now we are able to get we are uh, so now the app iphone post is we are not getting any error so this app iphone post has been removed the error has been removed but we are still we are getting cannot bind to post what is the reason so here if you go into the post.component.cs so it is taking a input out input parameter input property post so let's try to add this one in the mock thing so now if you try to go to this post.component.spec.ts file and here we are having a fake post component let's try to create input element fake one only so we don't want anything right for input and here i will try to use post of type post that's it so let's try to see whether we will be able to see this one or not so here we will make it as mandatory that's it now if you try to see the output now successfully the test has been passed and also in the console we are not able to see any errors now we have successfully what we have did we have mocked the child component so we have we have did what we have did here so app it is expecting the post component but we cannot test the post we cannot add the post component here like this so we need to we are doing the basics of the testing so we we, did, we didn't went into the deep integration test so here we need to mock the child component so that is the reason so i have created a fake fake component here fake post component and this fake post component has been added here the selector is the app iphone post now the whatever the element elements you are having it will, it will be the angler will be able to understand and it will render this fake post component so by this so with this like this using the test bed we can mock the service whatever the dependencies for having for the post component we can mock the service and also we can mock the child components that are present in the post component also so by doing this one we have isolated we have made the isolated isolated the test without depending on all those things we have we have, we have marked the child component and also the post service using the traditional thing okay this is how we will be using how to mock the child components hope you understood about this mocking of the child components if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comment uh, please post the comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and also if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you